Multiplication. On this video we're going to look at multiplying two numbers together. And I'm going to show you in two different methods. One using the grid method and one using the column method. Now, it's up to you which method you use in your exam. However, you need to make sure that you're 100% happy with the method you pick and you pick one and stick with it. If you have a go at the worksheet, you'll find I've only done one method and that's the grid method. But the answer should still come out the same. So we're going to look at 23, uh, 27 times 43. Now if we're going to use the grid method, the first thing we've got to do is to draw ourselves a grid. So here we go, here's my grid. Now you'll notice I've done my grid 2 by 2. This is because there's two parts to each of the numbers. There's the 20 and the 7 and the 40 and the 3. And that's what we're going to partition or split our numbers into. So along the top we're going to have our 20 and 7. And down the side we're going to have our 40 and 3. Now in each of these boxes we're going to do what the two numbers here times together to make. This one will be these two numbers. This one here will be these two. And finally this one will be made up of these two times together. So we're going to multiply each part together. So the first one... 20 times 40, well, 2 times 4 is 8. Now, because there was two extra zeros in the question, we've got to add two extra in our answer. Now, do be careful on that, though. If you had to do 20 times um, 50, for example, 2 times 5 is 10, but then you've still got to add on the two extra zeros. To make a thousand, so just be careful. But in this case, it's not a problem. Now, second thing we have to do is we've got to do seven times forty. Well, seven times four is twenty-eight, and we need to add on an extra zero. Twenty times thirty, uh, sorry, twenty times three is sixty, and finally, seven times three is twenty-one. Now, to find the answer, twenty-seven times forty-three. All we do is need to add up these four numbers together. Now make sure you line up these numbers nice and neatly into a column to avoid any errors. So 800, add 280, add 60, add 21. So 0, add 0, add 0, add 1 is 1. 8, add 6 is 14, add 2 is 16, and 8, add 2 is 10, add the extra 1 is 11. So we've got 1,161. Now, that's one method for doing multi long multiplication. Another way is to do the column method, which is 27 times 43. Now, to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the 27 by the unit 3 first. So 27, both individual parts, times by the 3. So first we're going to do 7 times 3, which is 21. Carry through the 2. Next we're going to do 2 times 3, which is 6. Now we have to add on this extra 2 to make 8. So that is 81. Now, we're now going to move along and do 27 times by the 4. But that 4 actually means 40. So what we need to make sure we do is to add this zero into the units column. Now we're going to do 4 times 7, which is 28. Carry the 2. 2 times 4 is 8, and add on the extra 2 to make 10. Now to finish this off, what we're going to do is we're going to add up the two numbers that we have here, which is 81, add on 1080. So, 1 add 0 is 1, 8 add 8 is 6, carry the 1, Ten, uh, uh, 0 add 1 is 1, and finally, oops, we've got 1,161. 1, and you should notice that these two answers are the same. So you can use either method, but it's really, really important you decide early on which method you're going to pick. Okay, so whether that be the grid method or the column method. Now you could also be asked to find out
um, a similar kind of question. You could be told that a bus contains 27 seats and we want 43 coaches. So a bus contains 27 seats and we want 43 of these buses. How many seats is that in total? And what we do to find the total number of seats is we do 27 times 43 because each of the coaches would have 27 seats. Now if you have a go at the worksheet there's lots of different style questions involving multiplication.